I'm John Keane. I'm president of uh, DFT Gear. Uh, thanks for checking out the website and uh, having a look at the product. Uh, what I wanted to do is first off tell people how to put this product on. So this is a uh, unopened package of uh, the uh, DFT clip with the harness. So if I take this out, this is what it looks like. It's all wrapped up like this. So hopefully what I'm going to do here is explain to you how to actually put it on. We'll talk about fitting in another, in another uh, video. But so what you're going to do is you're going to take this, just open this up like this and get it all the way out. So this is the clip. clip top of the clip is here. It's going to have the uh, logo and what have you on the top and all of the buckles are going to be on the top of the actual strap. So in order to position this right, I'm going to have it set up like this because that's where my gun's going to be. So my hand is going to be here and then you'll see when you grab yours that there's a strap here. So that strap is where my, where my shoulder, my arm's actually going to go through. So what I want to do is these two straps are, when you get in the package, are going to be very close together. So what you're going to want to do with that is separate them as far as you can and get them as close to the buckle on opposite sides. What that's going to do is allow you to get it as close to where it's going to be uh, reasonably when you put it on. So the way you set it up is you take just like that. So we've got the open loop. We've got both of those straps separated as close to, buck to the buckle as they can get. And then the actual clip section is pushed off to the front. So what I do is I take my arm and I push it through here. What you do is you've got your, your front strap, the small strap stays right across your chest and you can keep that pretty close to this little buckle. The second strap you want to take and put just above the, the top of your shoulder, just behind the top of your shoulder. And then this part is going to come around and buckle in the front. So now what we've got is there's quite a bit extra. Uh, if somebody is going to be dry firing in their ballistic gear or if they're just a, a bigger person, that's fine. Uh, and so what we've got is the ability to uh, stretch that out pretty far if you want. But um, once you get this set up, pull it pretty tight. And if you can see on the back of my shoulder, um, what's happening here is that this strap is actually what keeps everything tight here. So you don't need to, to pull this buckle real tight uh, and, and pinch off any blood circulation in your arm. What you're actually using is this strap here to pull this all nice and tight onto your shoulder. So what you should feel is tightness across the front here, but not tightness all the way around your shoulder. It's going to make a big difference when you're actually using the, the uh, actual clip. So what I'm doing, what I'll do is I'll set this up. then. This strap here is the only strap you're really going to need to mess with in order to get the right, the right distance based on your shooting stance, based on the length of your arms. So what you'll do is you'll actually mount the gun and get out there and in order to adjust this longer or shorter, just give it a little bit of, uh, a little bit of space and pull it which way, whichever way you need to go in order to uh, make it fit the reach better. With another video, we'll, we'll go ahead and set up uh, how to actually get it perfectly fitted for you and kind of that sweet spot to make the, uh, the clip and harness work best for you.